guess you have to wait till we hear a clunk. A lot of noise in here. I think I heard it. Usually you gotta hit the reset button too, but we'll see. Yeah, if you look here on this screen is where it says PLC alarm. I'm gonna hit the reset button on the machine, you'll see that disappear. Should be gone. If you look over here, let me show you. The reset button is this one with the two diagonal lines on it. The next step is to calibrate the machine. It's real easy. We push reference and then cycle start. We can see by these dials it's moving. If you look in the machine, you should see it. Once it stops moving, it's calibrated. We should have three green lights on our screen right here where it says X, Y, and Z. Green buttons mean good to go. Over here on this main computer, right here, the bottom left corner says user. We click on that. When this screen pops up, we can just close it. To find your files, we open up this icon right in the center, select run one or run two parts at the same time. One panel is uh, 48 inches wide by 32 high. This one is two panels side by side. And then, uh, so once we click that one or two, we just hit this button here. That converts the file from a program file to the ISO folder. The next step, oh, we selected 10 repetitions, so we only have to do this once for every 10 parts we, we make. We could select 100 or any number between 1 and 100. The important part with downloading the program, don't forget to push auto first. Then execute, second, and then, then we download the file by pushing the download button. And to overwrite the previous one, we push OK. But we have to do this twice. Push download a second time. Push OK again. Now it's ready to go. Oh, no, not quite. I failed to turn on the vacuum pump. So we need the other screen back. Hit the return button. Execute. Right arrow. Vacuum one. Vacuum pumps on. Now return. Then just push auto execute to get that other screen back in place. 